Welcome to Nailbuzz ID Network. I'm your host, Katie Failinger, and here on the ID Video channel, you'll see exclusive interviews from changemakers and key voices within independent brokerage distribution. Nailbuzz CEO Dan LaVert recently sat down with Mark Pelicano, Vice President of Pacific Life's Financial Advisory Network. Take a look. Talk a little bit about Pacific Life's commitment to independent distribution. <laughs> Well, I think the first thing that uh, I think the audience needs to know is that Pacific Life doesn't have a career agency, right? So we have no financial advisors that are captive to Pacific Life. Right. So the only way our products are getting out into the marketplace is through distributions like GAs and financial advisors and financial intermediaries. Um, so I think first and foremost, I think that's real important. The second thing is, is that when you look at Pacific Life as a company, it's, I mean, it's obviously a solid brand, 150-year-old company, 158 billion in assets, A plus rate. I mean, it's got all the key things that a, a, a life insurance company should have. Mm -hmm. But the other key thing is the, it's a mutual company. So we are real um, focused on the policyholders. And so I sit in these senior leadership meetings, Dan, it's funny. All the decisions we make, whether financial products, we're always thinking about the policyholder. And mm -hmm. so what's great is that when, for the distribution that we do have, the people who do sell our products can know that their customers are going to be taken care of for the long term. So when you ask about commitment, I think about the work that we're doing at Pacific Life. We're doing a lot of research on se customer segmentation. Sure. We're doing a lot of work around how these people want to buy, the types of products they want to buy. And so we're, we're gathering the data. But again, going back to my point, we don't have a captive agency. So this data is worthless unless we're partnering with distribution right, to figure out, here's this data. How can we better help you get to the market and be successful? So I think our commitment's pretty big. OK, so 2020 is an interesting time. You're doing all this research. We all know there's a massive insurance gap out there. A lot of families are just not secured. When you talk about plans for 2020 and how Pacific Life is going to uh, at attack these problems of, of the insurance gap, what are the, the products that you see most valuable to not only the American public, but obviously to the GAs and, and the uh, independent advisors? So I, I think we look at it two ways. We look at um, protection products. Mm -hmm which are, I think, predominantly on the broad market side. Okay. And then on the uh, fluent side, looking at more creative ways to take advantage of some of the tax efficiencies that life insurance provide, okay. whether it's accumulation, business insurance, all kinds of things like that. And Pacific Life wants to be uh, top of mind and a key player in both those markets. So we kind of have a dual strategy right now that's helping us achieve that goal. So what I do think, when you think of 2020, the two key things that I think Pacific Life that we want to focus on and get better at mm -hmm. is helping RGAs be more effective and more efficient. And so when you think about the people who own these, the principals, right, mm -hmm. they're business owners. And when you're a business owner, that comes with pressure, stress, you got payrolls to meet. It's not easy, you know, and I think we sometimes take it for granted that, you know, they're out there just doing really well and they are. but. It's, it's not easy. And so how can we as a company, Pacific Life, bring value to their business and saying, how can we help you be more effective, mm -hmm. right, and more efficient? So on the efficient side of it, you know, we're looking for ways to partner with them, with the people in the home office of their home offices and helping them make their, their less touches on the cases that they're actually selling. Okay. Um, business to business, e-capabilities, taking advantage of all the things that we think we can bring to the table to make it easier for the folks in-house to spend less time on the cases that they're currently working on and more time on maybe being more proactive. And when you go to the proactive, I think about the effectiveness. Um, that's where we're saying, how can we help them be better, a better sales organization? Okay. And so we're looking for ways to contribute to help them with sales training, sales development, uh, identifying uh, higher end sales concepts and things like that. So it's kind of a two prong approach. And I think if we do that, um, I think it would be really valued. Pacific Life has a commitment to not only um, the GAs, the advisors, but also to, they, they have a worldwide footprint. They, they have a commitment to the community, their charitable efforts. Um, we talked offline a, a little bit about where Pacific Life is, what they're doing, especially in, in local communities. Can you, would you be willing to share a little bit about that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I think Pacific Life is one of the most socially responsible companies in the U.S. I really do. I mean, there are so many things that we do, uh, even from our investment standpoint, with the assets that we bring in, we, we look to try to invest in so other socially respons responsible companies. But 
I think from an employee standpoint, we do some really cool things. Like we have this uh, one thing called playground bills, okay. where we literally will target areas in the United States that are maybe less fortunate and don't have the resources to provide safe areas for kids to play. And we'll literally, our employees will literally go to the site mm. and put together this awesome playground. And they're pretty cool looking too, they're nice. <laughs> and so we do that. Um, United Way, uh, our company matches dollar, dollar, dollar for dollar on our employees that fund the United Way, we match that. Um, so we're one of the biggest contributors to United Way and that, that's another big kind of thing for us. And um, I think the last thing is we have a thing called PL Foundation. Okay where employees can actually identify whether they're schools or programs um, and they actually fill out an application, submit it in, and then we can't do everybody's wish, but we every year we'll do a, a certain amount where the employees will get a check and they get to provide a scholarship to those, uh, awesome. to those schools or programs. So it's, it's awesome, and Jim Morris gets involved. I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing what Pacific Life does from a charity standpoint. So you're talking about making an investment in, in the community. Um, obviously, independent distribution is NELBA. The NELBA annual meeting is where relationships are built. It's where business gets done. Um, each year, Pacific Life has been the exclusive sponsor of the, of the Moore's Award dinner. Each year, Pacific Life has uh, the entire team there. There's a big footprint in the exhibit hall. Um, we appreciate that support. But this is an opportunity to sit down and say, why? Why do you make that decision to invest? I mean, you, every carrier receives dozens of requests, um, but it has to come down to dollars and cents. What's, what's the dollars and cents statement for Pacific Life to keep coming back to NELBA? Well, first of all, the, the history that NELBA brings is amazing, sure. right? There's only one NELBA meeting every year. And um, you know, I, don't, I think it's a coincidence, it's not a coincidence that we decided to get into this market on the term space and GA broad market um, about four years ago. Yep. And we've been investing in NELBA for about Four years. Yep. And uh, right now, we're the fastest growing term company in the industry. I mean, we've been growing leaps and bounds. You know, coming in at 20 million and 40 million this year, we'll go north of 60 million. Um, and I, I can't help think that being able to come to NABA, being part of the Moore's Award dinner, um, and coming to an, an environment where every one of our customers is there to be able to network, do planning meetings. Um, and just connect and sometimes have some fun. Sure. You know, I think our industry's gotten away from fun. Yeah. And so I, I think that uh, it's a great venue for that. And so why would we not continue to invest? And the only thing I, I guess I would say is, I think going forward, and I know we're all running hard and we're, <laughs> we're running fast, it's hard to plan, but we need to do a better job of taking advantage of the meeting that we're at. I mean, we're all gonna go, we're all gonna be there. I think we could get even more out of it if we, found a way to invest some time beforehand. Sure. I know we're all running hard, it's hard to do, but right. it's an awesome venue. Well, I want to thank you for the continued support that Pacific Life makes in Nelba, and especially the, uh, the local communities. I think it's great, so thank you very much. All right, thanks, Dan. Keep an eye out for new videos in the ID Network every week at nelba.org, and make sure you follow Nelba on social media. We've linked all the places you can find us below. Also, mark your calendars for Nelba 39. Our next annual meeting happens November 18th through the 20th in Hollywood, Florida. Those details are also linked below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon.